Hello friends, welcome back. Today we'll learn how to drop columns from a pandas data frame. There are many ways to achieve that and we'll walk through three common methods in this tutorial. So let's first prepare a mockup data frame so that we have something to work with. And if you want to follow along, this part of the code to construct the data frame is in the description below. Okay, so now we have a data frame with some people's names, their country, city, gender, and age. I'm also going to make a few copies of this data frame so that we can have a fresh copy for each demonstration. The first method we're going to use is the data frame dot drop method. Let's say if we want to delete the country column, then we can just type df dot drop and pass in the column name country with two quotes, then axis equal to one. We can actually use the drop method to delete either rows or columns. So setting the argument axis equal to one will delete columns and setting the axis equal to zero will delete rows. We can also delete multiple columns at once. Inside the drop method, we just need to pass in a list of the column names instead of uh, just one name. Now let's inspect the original data frame. And we notice that although we dropped some columns just now, the data frame did not change at all. And this is because the drop function only returns the resulting data frame, but it doesn't modify the original data. And we can create a new variable and assign the resulting data frame to it. For example, we can say df underscore one equal to df1.drop, and then we can have the resulting data saved in the variable df underscore one. However, if we want to change the original data frame without creating additional variables, we can use the argument in place equal to true in the drop method. And this way we can modify the data frame in place instead of having to create a separate variable. And just a quick side note, many pandas methods have this in place argument that allows to modify the data frames in place. If you find this video helpful, please hit that like button for me. It really helps the channel and keep me motivated to make more tutorial videos like this one. The next way to drop a column is the DEL keyword. And this is a Python keyword, not Panda specific. To delete a column, we can simply use a DEL DF and pass in the column name that we want to delete. And we check the data frame again and we notice that the country column is no longer there. So note that this approach will modify the original data frame. And if you don't want to modify the original data, then you shouldn't use this method. You can use the other two methods that we discussed here. Next, we'll learn about the reassignment method to drop columns from a data frame. And I sometimes call this method the square bracket method. And I'm actually not too sure if that's the right name. If anyone knows the appropriate name for this method, please let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate it. Essentially, we're modifying the data frame by recreating a new data frame and then assign it back to the original data frame object. We'll see how that works. So our original data frame contains five columns, username, country, city, gender, and age. Let's delete two columns from the data frame, country and age. You probably already know that we can select a subset of the data frame columns by doing this. DF square bracket, and then pass in a list of the column names. Let's say username, CD, and gender. So here we are excluding the columns country and age. And then we can have a subset of the original data frame. Now, all we need to do is assigning this resulting data frame back to the original data frame object. So DF3 equal to DF3 square bracket, then pass in a list with the three column names that we want to keep, username, CD and gender. Then we check the original data frame and we're left with only three columns now. So for this approach, we didn't really delete anything. And then all we did was recreating a data frame, then overwriting the old data frame with a newer one. Now you saw these three methods and then you might be wondering, which method should I use? And the answer is, it depends. The drop method works best when you want to delete a few columns at once. So all we need to do is uh, just pass in a list of the column names and also remember to use the in place equal to true argument to modify the data frame in place. The DEL keyword method works best when we want to just do a quick delete. For example, maybe when we need to delete one or two columns, this method is pretty quick. And last but not least, the reassignment approach works best when the resulting data frame is a small subset of the original data frame. For example, 
if the original data frame is 100 columns and then we just need to take five columns out of that 100 columns, then the reassignment method could be the easiest to work with. All right, that's it. I hope you learned something today. I will see you in the next one.